So here's a PC I'll be building in the next couple of months and I just wanted to show you before I build it um, why I'm picking this particular build and uh, why I think this is a great build for anyone that wants a cheap, fast, reliable, multitasking PC. Um, these four parts, which are the main parts of the computer, are coming in at um, just under 200 pounds now you need a case and a power supply with this but um, I'm building the case myself um, it's a small case I'm just going to explain to you why I'm picking these parts and, and then I'll, I'll talk about the case so this is the new Skylake processors from Intel and it is a Pentium G4500 running at 3.5 gigahertz which was basically unheard of three or four years ago and the next part here then is the systems board or motherboard and it's a mini itx so it's a really small board so you can fit it into really small cases and this is the point um the next part there then is uh, memory and it's ddr4 the new um memory that you need in order to run with that motherboard and that processor. So DDR4, most computers up to the last six months were all built with DDR3. Now the difference between DDR4 and DDR3 is the uh, frequency, the speed and bandwidth of the memory has increased. So your standard DDR4 will be running at about 21 megahertz so that's a huge jump from say most average PCs would run at about 16 megahertz or 1600 megahertz and the last part there then is a solid state drive and I just went with Kingston they're, they're cheap and fast and do the job and you get three year warranty with this part and the other three parts as well and any part that you when you build custom pcs you always get um at the moment anyway a three year warranty with all the parts now with this pentium you get two advantages with this particular um processor Right. Not only is it, is it running at a very high speed at, at 3.5 gigahertz, it also has um, this wireless display technology. So you can wirelessly connect it to a smart TV or a HD TV. And most of the new TVs will have this facility. Now, in order to use this facility, your motherboard must also have this Wi-Di in um, this and this board that we're picking here actually has it um, where is it here yeah so it's the wireless display Intel wireless display here okay and this also has Bluetooth and, and wireless which again unheard of five six years ago getting back to the build and so the reason why if I was building a multitasking machine if someone asked me to build a cheap fast reliable multitasking machine this is the is the is the PC that I would build for them now the advantages of building this one is that you can put this motherboard which is a very small form factor board it's a mini ITX board so you can put it into very small case. It's about the same size as a shoebox or a small briefcase. And the other reason why I'm excited about this build actually is, is that I'm going to be using a, this, uh, a new type of monitor that is out in the last, I think they're, they're, they're building them for a couple of years now. But they've gotten very good now at um, getting this touch screen um, problem that they were having with connecting USB small screens to um, desktop computers. 
but I think they've cracked it with this one. So this, basically this monitor is just like any other monitor you'd see. This is a 13 inch, you can get it 15 inch and you can get it 17 inch. But this one is so small, I can attach it to a little bracket that I can attach to this actual case. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to be able to bring it with me when I'm going places for editing and that kind of stuff. But for multitasking, this machine is perfect. So another thing about this Intel processor is that it has the graphics built into the, 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 um, the chip itself. So you don't need a dedicated graphics card. And this is the same graphics. This is the HD graphics, the 5, 530 which is the same graphics that's used in the i7s and the i5s, the, the higher end processors from Intel. And it's pretty much amazing what you can do with with um, with these boards now. Like I'm using an old i5 for editing on this actual PC here, and I don't have a graphics card. Now I don't play games or anything like that, but for editing, for high-end editing, all I use is an i5 with solid-state drive and a nice bit of RAM, 8 gigs of RAM, and you don't really need much more than that. Um, I've been doing it for years with, ju with just the i5, and I'm not overclocking the processor or anything like that either. So, I just said I'd show it to you before I build it. Um, now, if you wanted to do gaming on this PC, what I would do is I'd just upgrade the, the Pentium processor to an i5 or an i7, preferably an i7, because it would work better with the, with the um, games, because it has four cores, as opposed to this one only has two. And now, getting back to, say, power supply. So this is only drawing, this build will only be drawing um, 96 watts. So any power supply you have lying around would do for this particular build. Um, if you were upgrading, you would probably need a higher end um, motherboard because of the turbo power in the i5, which this board does not have. So it's just the normal four pin CPU connector. So there's no turbo boost um, application on this particular board. But for um, everyday computing, that would not be an issue. It is only when a, the PC is drawing extra power, it needs to boost the processor in order, in order to um, get whatever it is you're trying to get done. So it will need the turbo boost if you're going running um, high-end games or um, high-end uh, editing software. But as far as but as far as multitasking, um, some editing you could do some editing with this, no problem. Um, any of those um, Photoshop's or um, Adobe softwares, you, you could easily use them on this. So that's um, pretty much it. Until I build it, um, I won't be. Um, We'll come back to this when I'm actually building it anyway, but um, there's the four parts, the main parts that you need to build a PC and a case. As I said, I'm going to putting it into a small form factor case because I want to be able to carry it around with this fantastic um, uh, screen, touch screen. Now, these are um, fairly expensive, but um, well worth it because you can use them on any device, your mobile phones, your tablets, you know, you can use them with all those different technologies as well. And by the way, this particular build would knock the socks off an iPad, hands down. Um, this can open multiple um, programs at once, whereas your iPad can only open two at once. And really you're limited in the kind of editing that you can do with the two programs that you open on an iPad. So just keep that in mind. 
and also most um, laptops in around from s anything from 800 to 600 euros y you would not get anything that would be as um, capable as this particular build because the, the processors that put into them are of um, lesser power and speed the i7 that goes into the new laptops is running at a base core speed of i think it's 2.9 and this is running at 3.5 gigahertz so this is faster than it but of course the i7 um usually um, most of the laptop ones anyway will come with the four cores but the advantage of that is that you, you, you're getting uh, more tasks done at the same time, but at a slower speed. But it is a slight advantage if you go, that is, now you won't get an i7 in a laptop for um, less than a thousand euros anyway. So the lesser ones, say the ones around 800 down to 600, 500, um, wouldn't even come close to what this can do the speed of this in comparison to it so that's it for now um i'll be back to this board uh, this build um as soon as i get the parts uh, sorted out for it and that's pretty much it so there's the price of these four parts just under 200 uh, pounds and um i'll talk to you soon and i hope this has uh, helped you and if you're looking for help with any of this just uh, drop me a line here on youtube channel or on my website computer help made easy thanks for watching